Some people seem to think that ethics is impossible without guilt. I might retort that the ethical system that we rely upon now might be impossible without guilt, but ethics in and of themselves are certainly not impossible without guilt. Um, I might sort of point out that the ethical system that I'm sort of pointing towards vaguely doesn't really differ that much from the one that we now have. It's just a question of emphasis. It's just a question of what the general thrust of it all is, what we expect ethics to do. Um, one objection that comes up frequently is, well, without guilt, um, or perhaps guilt is the only thing that's standing between us and Hobbesian anarchy, Hobbesian chaos, uh, nasty, brutish, and short. Uh, if we don't have guilt, then we go back to that. Not just the jungle, but something worse than the jungle. Look at the Nazis. They said, look, we're, we're tired of apologizing for being what we are. Human beings are barbarians, and we're going to act like barbarians. Well, I would say uh, it's quite obvious that the Nazis didn't abolish guilt at all. They simply transferred it. They said, I'm off the hook. I'm just a barbarian, Hitler's famous quote. Yes, we are barbarians. It's an honorable title. Uh, sure, okay, I'm off the hook guilt-wise, but they're not off the hook guilt-wise. And we know who they are. They are anyone who the Nazis decided was a Jew, uh, or, the, or uh, any other number of subhuman races who were alleged to be simply... Um, unethical by their very nature. Uh, the Third Reich was nothing without guilt. Um, guilt was an absolute, essential, central component of uh, Nazism. Guilt. Um, it wouldn't have made sense without it. Um, it's all about who are the good people and who are the bad people and what we should do about that, that there are good and bad people. And of course we know what happened. Uh, well, the Nazis proved that they weren't the super supermen that they said that they were. Uh, they went down in catastrophic defeat at the hands of the bastardized British and Americans and the um, subhuman Russians. <laughs> um, another good example taken sort of from fiction is Apocalypse Now, Walter Kurtz, the uh, sort of repudiation of a certain view of the Superman, a certain view of the person who is not encumbered by um, guilt, by a conscience. Um, he was disgusted at the hypocrisy of all these people who said that they had consciences and who may have actually believed that they had consciences, who were trying to fight a ethical war. He said, this is crazy. If we're in a war, we have to jettison our ethics, we have to jettison our conscience, we have to jettison everything and just fight this war. Um, you want me to do the job? Then don't curse me for getting the job done, is essentially his message. Um, and he said, look, we're just in a jungle here. We're fighting uh, against an enemy who has abandoned his own conscience as well. And that's kind of racist. Apocalypse Now was a little bit racist in that regard. Um, <clears throat> but the thing is, of course, what he did was he took the abandonment of conscience as a license to become a monster. <laughs> uh, to sort of say, look, um, we, uh, we can forget all about conscience and goodness and, and, uh, and all this kind of thing and just go straight at it. Uh, never mind this idiotic hypocrisy. Let's just get on with the job and do the damn job and get it done. And don't worry about the mess that we made. We are what we are. We are killers. Let's face it. Why are we afraid to face that? Well, um, we are what we are works both ways, of course. Uh, just because we are what we are, it doesn't automatically follow that we our conduct always sort of devolves to the worst possible behavior. That's the slippery slope fallacy, right? Um, we are what we are also works in terms of our nicer side. Uh, Walter Kurtz and 
the Nazis just said, oh, we are what we are, therefore we get to do whatever we like. There are no more constraints on our conduct. Well, no, <laughs> because what you're doing is essentially in that case is you're sort of saying I am what I am and what I am is a monster. <laughs> um, maybe we have a little bit of monster in us, yes, and that's why I sort of say that guilt might not be the best way of dealing with the monster because he's in there and he ain't going anywhere. Uh, but we also have a little bit of angel in us. And the angel will be there to sort of say, hey, well, what about me when you decide to behave like a monster? <laughs> you know, I'm in here too, you know. Uh, part of you, part of one's character wants to do good things because of what we are. Um, as I say, just because I say I am what I am, it doesn't mean that I get to go on a rampage and just sort of say, look, it's, uh, it's in my nature to do things like that. That's what the Nazis did, and that's what Walter Kurtz did. Um, I am what I am means much more than that, whether I like it or not. <laughs> um, abandoning guilt is not an excuse.